What's up, Gemini? This is your weekly reading. I'm back. And better than ever. The semester's over, so I have more time to do these readings. The schedule has changed, I've decided. Uh, the official schedule is going to be Tuesday to Friday. So, uh, you guys used to be uploaded on Wednesdays, but it's going to be Thursday that you guys will be uploaded, uh, your, your readings. So just so everybody is aware if you're interested in anything that i do it's all linked in the description below personal readings becoming a patron checking me out on instagram um anything it's all linked in the description um why do i feel like i have so much more to say i don't know um, wow, Page of Cups. Okay, we love that vibe. We love that vibe. Let's see. Let's see what we got for you. This Page of Cups. Nope, this is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. All right. Let's see what we got for the Geminis today. I hope everybody's been been good. Um, I probably should have meditated before this. I did meditate today, though. I'm feeling feeling pretty grounded. Not that anybody asked. <laughs> All right. We got the five of wands in reverse as the first card. The six of pentacles in reverse as the second card. Let me move my chamomile tea. And the three of cups upright. The first three cards out. Uh, let me look. Let me look here. Let's see what we got. The Five of Wands is about retreating. Let's see what's at the bottom. The Lovers. This seems to continually be at the bottom of the deck. So I'm feeling right off the bat for the Geminis that I'm talking to. Possibly, um, I don't know why I keep going to like a third party situation. Uh, but let's see here. It could change. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is about having a lot of options. Um, needing to make a choice in something. Four of Cups. Yeah, I really, really am feeling like a third party situation thing going on. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I'm getting this vibe of like somebody being rejected somebody had a choice to make but like right with this this is like they chose they, i'm getting this vibe of like they chose wrong um and it doesn't have to be romantic at all um it could just be like with the three of cups here it could be like between three people just three friends right like the seven of pentacles is making wrong investments investing in the wrong shit putting our energy toward things that clearly with the six of pentacles here in reverse um this is clearly something that depleted us that that somebody was greedy right so and the four of this is about somebody having an offer of something actual love in front of their face and they didn't choose love they chose like fantasy and lust and thus are now paying the price of that if it has if it's not like if it's not a romantic thing it's like somebody chose let's say work over their partner or somebody made somebody's just making the wrong fucking choice here like long-term choice married the wrong person i, I don't know Five of Wands is like retreating. I'm not I'm no longer fighting about this anymore. I don't I don't wanna deal with this anymore. That's that the vibe that I get. Uh there's no more competition because I've made my choice, but eight of cups is about walking away. Um why am I getting a fucking soap opera here? Page of swords in reverse. Yeah, because no, yeah, justice in reverse. I was just about to say somebody didn't have another person's best interest in heart at heart, right? So the page of swords is like this um, 
energy of like it's not impulsivity that's really more so like knight of swords in reverse but it could be the page of swords in reverse like being overly curious about something too curious that it's like curiosity killed the cat is what i'm feeling an eight of cups somebody else was whoever was left like asked out is like all right i'm leaving this shit bye see you later justice in reverse comes out again which tells me wrong choice a wrong the wrong choice was made and it it's a detrimental choice and i don't think whoever made the choice whether it was you who made the choice gemini and you chose wrong or if it was somebody else who chose something or somebody else over you possibly like maybe they had more than one option more than two options with the seven of cups but at the very least they had two options to choose from and if they didn't choose you they made the wrong fucking choice it's evident here the justice is like could be unfairness too magician is at the bottom of the deck what's this knight of wands yeah this person couldn't keep their dick in their pants <laughs> temperance in reverse again just like there's too much of something, right? Like either they just got their got somebody was too too in over their heads. Somebody was in over their heads with something with more than one person. They were like juggling around two people or something like that. I hate to do this whole soap opera shit, but when it's evident, it's evident. And that's just the vibe I'm getting. Um And I don't know why, because normally my brain doesn't go there. If it's no, it has nothing to do with people or love, it's like friends. You're choosing the wrong friends. You're investing in the wrong people. And maybe if this is just your energy, right? You're realizing you're investing in the wrong people that aren't invested in you, period. That feels that feels about right, too. Knight of Wands, like wishy-washy-ass friends. The Three of Cups it can be about friendships. It doesn't have to be like a third party situation. It could simply be you thought this person was your friend or these people were this group of people w were your friends. Uh, and consistently they show you that you're more in it than they are. You know, uh, it could be a group of friends, to be quite honest. Um. And maybe you had blinders on. Maybe that's what the Seven of Cups is about, too. Like, living in a fantasy in your head. Like, maybe you really had blinders on to these people or this person, right? Um, doesn't have to be love, you know? Could just be somebody you just had connections with. A, a deep connection, possibly. But doesn't have to be a love, romantic connection. You could have just loved them as a brother, you know? Or loved them as a sister. Um told them all your fucking secrets and they're just not a reliable source and so now gemini you're probably questioning walking away from this person if it's a specific person or just certain people you're taking inventory of the people in your life you know like i'm picturing the gemini's out here with a list like all right let's go down the list was this person here for me when i needed them nope all right bye was that person? Nope. All right, bye. Like, I could see you, especially with the end of the year approaching, we all get to that self-reflective place where we're trying to really figure our lives and relationships out, right? Um, and I see you guys doing that. I see you guys, like, taking inventory on on people who are depleting your fucking energy. Energy suckers, Period. Uh, the Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah. You're taking that shit back, bruh. I feel <clears throat> like you're taking your love back. That's, that's how I feel. The Emperor. Upright. Is this thing falling or am I going crazy? The Emperor Upright is about control. Um... I mean, if this has nothing to do with friends either, it's also jobs too. Like, just 
there is a there is a an entity in your life that is sucking the life out of you and you are out here like it's definitely something that you are connected to for sure in some emotional capacity but that still doesn't mean that uh that it's like a romantic love you just feel like you've wasted your time <clears throat> time on a person or situation that is no longer like it's like what is this thing adding to my life what is this doing for me what is me reaching out to this person really giving me I don't have any clarity with this person I don't have any um it's not like I learn anything from this person why am I here why don't I turn that energy inward that's where y'all are at eight of wands upright that's about rapid change and growth. Ex like, I want to say expansion, but it's not really. It it could be. Some of y'all might be moving. The emperor, the emperor is about um, leadership. So it's like you're taking the reins. I feel like it's like you're taking the reins of whatever this situation is. And you're like, no, no. This doesn't work for me anymore, yo. New year, new me type of vibes. You know, um, watch, you, watch the old me die, <laughs> uh, and never come back. Hierophant in reverse. It's about, that's about rebellion, you know, doing the unexpected, I feel. Like, I feel like, here's the thing, for the Geminis I might be talking to, there are some of you that <clears throat> the status quo is expected of you, of course. So people in your life might expect you to just roll over and play dead in certain situations. And I feel like you're not doing that anymore. You're just like, nope. You only know the old version of me. This is me now. Shit's like, this is quick change. Quick. What did I say? Knight of Swords in reverse, impulsively doing shit. Impulsivity. But I don't feel as though that's your energy. I feel like y'all are kind of getting a handle on this shit. Maybe y'all are emotionally withdrawing as well from people. Situations. Seven of Wands. Yeah. What did I say? Emotional withdrawal to protect yourself, to, to conserve your energy. <clears throat> because I feel as though you're in this place, Gemini, where um, I want to say you're fed up. That, that, that card has not, like the fed up card has not really come out. But I just want to say you're fed up with whatever this fucking situation is. And now you're in protection mode. Very much so. Four of swords in reverse. Yeah. You have you have utilized any ounce all any ounce of energy that it has taken, whatever this situation is, like take it as it resonates, right? Like it doesn't have to be a third party situation. It could be that romantic situation I was talking about, right? It's a fucking thing. I shouldn't have touched it. Um you have utilized all of your fucking energetic resources on this situation whatever it is and you are fucking depleted <laughs> burnt the fuck out you have no like even if you wanted to give more to this situation you have no more left to give because whoever this is or whatever this is it has taken every ounce of your fucking soul with the Four of Swords here, that's Burnout. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> no, the Four of Swords in reverse. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Both are just very, like... Maybe it's even depleted your fucking money. Like, any any resources you have, you... you I feel like you don't have a choice but to uh, retreat. <laughs> that's like that Five of Wands and protect yourself. Because you literally have nothing left to give. The fool in reverse. Um, I feel like that's you. No offense to the Geminis that I'm speaking to. But 
whatever this was, you know, especially with this seven of pentacles here, you were foolish to invest in this situation, to give your energy into this situation. It's like you saw the signs and synchronicities. You saw it all from a mile of fucking way because it looked like a duck. It talked like a duck and it walked like a duck. And you were like, nope, it's a dog. But it wasn't. It was a fucking duck. And now you're just like, well, I'm assed out. Some of y'all are really like had your <clears throat> had your resources really fucking drained like somebody was an energy vampire here it could be a friend like that scenario where you like kind of your friend is going through shit you let them stay at your house and you're and at the, out of the kindness of your heart because you don't want to see anything bad happen to them and they literally like take you for all your worth death is at the bottom again like you're you're transforming that situation. Knight of Cups. To be honest, I don't know how that Knight of Cups plays in. Maybe that's the person. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. <clears throat> Let's see. Clarify the Knight of Cups. What is, what the fuck is this Knight of Cups? Death. <laughs> All right. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody took your fucking two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. You're working your ass off to get it back. Two of Wands. Yeah, now now you're in like... I'm feeling like, let's go back to the drawing board. Because this literally took every ounce of my being. Even if it's like you invested in a, a business or something. I feel like it's a... Maybe a partnership. I don't know. Like in a business. And somebody fucking took your... Took all your... Like everything for all your... Took you for all your worth. Somebody was really greedy within this situation. Whatever it is. And now it's like... Full stop. I'm changing the game here. The death is not just about a death... <clears throat> or an ending of a situation it's like transformation you know new like i said new year new me no longer letting these blood suckers take me for all i'm worth but i feel as though you're kind of back into the cocoon to kind of replan reorganize get yourself like really i really am feeling this like <clears throat> retreating energy needing to go back into your little bubble to plan shit out and kind of transform this situation, you know? Like, all right, I don't see y'all down and out. I really don't. I see you guys like, okay, this is what happened, and um, now I need to make some sort of change quickly. And make a change for like me in my in my favor. Very smart. Ten of Pentacles. Uh, well, that's a good sign. Whatever you whatever changes you're making, they're gonna work out. <clears throat> we love to see it. We love to see it. Hierophant in reverse. Knight of Pentacles. Like I said, y'all are working on some shit. <clears throat> something didn't work out for y'all whether it's a business i just feel like somebody was greedy though it could be you like maybe you went into a business or you went and invested in something because you thought it was going to give you like high returns or something like that like you were only about the money i just feel like that's not really the story here <laughs> i feel like something or somebody drained your fucking energy and money and resources and now you're going back to the drawing board to to fix it. Yeah. Seven of Swords. Somebody broke your trust. Somebody snuck around, did some bullshit, and fucked you over. Ah. Sneaky bastards. Page of Wands. Yeah, it's like you're having to start start all over again. 
like monetarily or energetically you're trying to just skirt everybody leave me the fuck alone because i need to rebuild <clears throat> you're in the rebuilding process um all right let's pull some oracle cards i love these things these cards i have a bunch of oracle decks now that i have that i've accumulated um maybe i'll use those A win-win outcome is forecast. Yeah, I don't feel like there's a way y'all are going to lose because I don't feel like you guys are like, mm, down on my luck. Thanks for noticing me. I feel like you're taking it for what it is, whatever this is. And you're like, okay, well, now I got to do something. And you're doing it. Don't let your past hold you back, right? Don't Don't allow yourself to have, like, trust issues. Be cautious of people. If this is a per a situation where somebody fucked you over and was greedy, especially in business, do your due diligence to like <clears throat> vet people. You know what I mean. But don't don't allow it to like make you closed off. Have faith in your dreams. Yeah, I feel like whatever rebuilding you're doing, you're gonna be able to do it. What do you need to release? You are good enough. Right, you don't need this fucking person or people or whatever, whatever it was. If it's draining you more than it's giving back to you in any way, even in an emotional way, like, it's not worth it, is what I've learned in my life. Um, so you might as well just fucking say fuck it. <clears throat> like, that's that's where you're at. So anyway... That's what I have for y'all. I hope that makes some sort of sense. Uh, it's good to be back. Like I said, um, well, first of all, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, uh, if it resonates. I love y'all. Peace out.